Diners, the Grand Duchess of China Fall. Last of the world of us. And I've been asked here this evening to talk about health. Her Imperial Highness, Regina Fong, has kindly agreed to hold her first ever drag masterclass on Club X this evening. So tonight, we're lifting up the skirts of drag and finding out what's underneath now. Sorry for that sort of florid intro, Your Highness. That's right, I know champagne, I know it's <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I do apologize. I realize you always perform with champagne. And just to assure you, you won't be going near any, anywhere near your skirts this evening. Thank you very much, Steve. We will be following you. your talents a little later, though. But first of all, what kind of preconceptions do people have about drag? Well, in this country, it's the lowest form of art. This is a terrible thing. In other countries, it is a, a quite a high, highly successful art form, like in the continent or in America, as portrayed in Torts on Trilogy. But here it isn't. It's always based well regarded abroad, but not here. Yes, absolutely. Well, it's, it's normally seen as a sort of a, a gay thing, but even in the gay communities, is it well regarded? That's right. In the gay, even in the gay community, it is, it is rejected, because it's like a, an adverse form of gay men. It's cheap entertainment. That's right. And is it very difficult to do? I mean, is it just a question of slipping on a dress and prancing around? It? No, you've actually got a good act. You've got to have a character. You've got to have a history and a biography of what is going on behind you. So how long has it taken you to develop your... Well, the giant form has taken about four years. You know, since 1901, really. And you know all about her background. Well, I certainly do. And I got all the Fabergé eggs. It's all very interesting. Yeah, I'll tell you about it one day, Murray. Okay. When we relax. Well, can anybody do this? Well, that's what we're here to find out, Murray, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> yeah, well... Oh, <laughs> Oh, good cat! The song ends there. The song ends there. The thing that we found about this, it wasn't a question of can anybody do it, it was a question of would anybody. Be quiet! Couldn't, it wasn't a question of can anybody, it was would anybody do it. We asked a hundred people, they all refused, and the only guys with the guts to do this were our security guards at Club X. So no, with nothing but the greatest admiration, I welcome Kevin, Paul and Ned, our security guards. A big hand, please. <laughs> Like this. No, I haven't done anything like this before. Are you nervous? Right? A little, but Rich needs to know what he's doing, so we'll leave it to him. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, leave it to Rich. He's the queen of drag. So, what kind of things can you teach him? But basically, when you do drag, you mustn't try and impersonate a woman. That's another That's another. Don't impersonate a woman. No, you have, you've got to be your own character. And basically, remember, you are a man. So they have to develop the character as a woman, more or less, that, but they're not meant to... No, they're not supposed to... No, they, you put on the, the makeup and the dress, but basically, drag is a man. That it's a man. Yeah, well, right. I think makeup is first. So I know you've a lot to do. I mean, to disguise you as women would be quite difficult. Yeah. 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 Honestly, isn't that? Absolutely. I hate that. What's it like? Oh, you come to see vagina. I have. I'm a fan. Are you a fan? Vagina Oh. Lipstick. Lipstick. Regina, you were saying that you do find it easier to get into character when you're making yourself up. It's the whole thing. These boys, unfortunately, unfortunately, in a sense, they actually have their makeup put on for them. So they're actually just having like a, a costume put on. And when you're actually putting the makeup on yourself, you feel different. It's more psych yes, you psych yourself up for this. Okay. Well, what have, what have you been trying to teach them? I've been trying to teach them, which is very difficult. Walk in high heels. Oh, yes. And we have had a bit of a difficult, bit of a TV problem here, but I think we're coping with it quite well. Are they catching on this day? Oh, catching, or oh, they're catching everything. Okay, well, Paul, I'll ask you to do your walk a little later on. This is the last chance we get to see you before the performance, but first of all, no thank you very much. You can kiss someone else, thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a nice big round of toast for our three beautiful showgirls. And here they are. And the first one is. And what a fine figure she makes. And of course, secondly, is Veronica. Oh! And can she wear high heels? She certainly can. And thirdly, Philomena. Whoa! Elegant and sonified, as only a real woman knows how to do it. So, girls, let's show them the Las Vegas finale, shall we? And it goes, la, la, la. And voila! Whoa! Now, Regina, is there any is there any natural aptitude here? No, none at all. And I don't think any of them were ever going to be a in one of my classes at Cambridge. But I think they did very well, and I'm very proud of them. 
Yes, I think another round. Another round. Yeah. To teach somebody, do you think? Teach somebody drag, or is it something they no, have? No, I think it's going to be a mental, it's a mental approach more than just a physical approach. All right. Yeah, okay. so I'll see you later, Murray. We'll talk about it in my office. Dear God. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a little bit of this evening. I can't handle it. <laughs> Thank you very, very much for doing this. You've been very Darling, it's been a wonderful experience. Okay. One I'll never repeat again. No, I might not repeat five.